Hey guys, my name is Marla and today's video is going to be me styling Costco clothes for a week. I have done like a few of these styling videos before, like I've done a styling on popular brands. I don't know, I've done a few of these type of videos before and you guys seem to like them and I think they're fun to film and they're just overall pretty interesting to watch. So like I said, today's video is gonna be me styling Costco clothes for a week. With all that being said, I'm gonna explain the video a little bit more after I get back from shopping from Costco and yeah, so let's, let's head to Costco. And we're here. Guys, go! And here's the mother load of all the clothes. They literally have Calvin Klein, wow. And puffer coats. Okay, I actually shop at Costco, like, especially when I was younger. Like, we would go to Costco and get clothes all the time. So this isn't like a foreign thing for me. And honestly, Costco has some pretty decent clothes sometimes. Like, I bought turtlenecks here before and like winter coats. Okay, so this cardigan right here. This looks like the Brandy Melville, like, cardigans that they sell. I'm gonna get this kind of like fuchsia colored. I don't know if I want to get that one or I kind of want to make it a little bit oversized. So I'm gonna get a medium. Whoa, whoa. Are you kidding me? They have a Levi's youth hoodie. I think. This might be the biggest size. Yeah, that, that looks kind of small. Let's look at their shoes. Are these really the only shoes? <gasps> they have more shoes. I'm pretty sure mom owns these. The okay, so this is like actually like, okay, that's really nice too, but I don't really think I need the Batman underwear. Okay, they literally have Fila sets here. And I kind of want to get out. I'm not gonna get a pair. That's actually so cute. Okay, I don't understand how Costco gets such good prices, but this is 16 bucks for a Fila sweatshirt. This would literally be like 60 bucks. Or Urban Outfitters. What in the world are these? Okay, I think we're gonna get a pair of these. I just need to find a size 7 in men's. These shoes are 20 buckaroos. You can go hiking in those. You can go exploring. I think we have pretty much like everything for the video. So we're now gonna head back home. Actually, we need to get some spinach. But I think I'm now gonna go home and kind of film like a really quick haul. And then now for, it's Monday today, so starting today, I'll go home and like change to one of the outfits. So every day from Monday to Friday, I'm gonna be wearing some form of a Costco item. I'm gonna try to make it look cute. There's some pretty ugly stuff in there, so I mean, we're gonna see how this goes. It's a big bag of spinach. I'm back home from Costco. I just wanted to do like a quick overview of what I got that way you guys like kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna be wearing for the next week. So it's not gonna be try on because that's the whole point of this video is like me wearing it. But first up, got some nice filas, very bougie. Um, starting off, I think these were like $20. Like they're like 19 something. I wouldn't exactly call them cute. <laughs> They're definitely thick, very chunky, and it's gonna be interesting. Next up, I got this jacket right here, and I've actually seen this at Costco before, and I've always thought it was cute, and I was like, I'm gonna actually get it today. So it's this blue fleece lined, like, what it? It's like an outdoor coat, but it's really nice, and I just really like the color of it. It's like a pretty ice blue. Then I also got a pair of socks, which are just, their socks. Then I got these. They're some white shorts and I never like, I really don't wear white bottoms that often. Like I have a few times, but especially like not white shorts. I don't know how that's gonna go. Then I got this track suit, which is really, really cute. And it's Fila as well. Maybe I'll wear it with my matching shoes, but I got the top and it just is gray. And then it has this Fila logo on it. And then I got a pair of matching bottoms. They're also gray and then the drawstring and they have the Fila logo as well on these. Then I got this sweater right here and it reminds me of something that my Aunt Barbara would wear, so shout out to you, Aunt Barbara, if you're wearing this. It's honestly not bad, but it's just something I wouldn't normally pick out. But it's gray, and then it has like this white lining underneath it. It's like a double layered sweater. Last but certainly not least, I got this cardigan right here, and I honestly don't think this will be that bad. Like, I can already imagine how I'm gonna style this, but it's like a pretty fuchsia color, and, and yeah, so that wraps up my haul. But I just kind of wanted to give you guys a rundown on how this video is gonna work. So basically, I shopped today at Costco, I picked out all the items. And then starting now from Monday to Friday, each day I'm gonna wear at least one Costco item that I purchased and I'm gonna try to style it. So I'll probably be filming like a mini lookbook each day of like what the outfit is and I'll give a description of it and how it went and how I felt throughout the day while wearing it. So that's how this video is gonna go. I also wanted to say I'm in like no way, shape or form trying to bash anyone that shops for clothes at Costco. I literally have bought clothes from Costco before just because I thought it was cute and it's affordable and it's good quality, so why not? It's more like I wanted to make this video because it's kind of interesting, like trying to make the clothes look trendy, I guess you could say. And also I like Costco because it's like accessible for a lot of people. So just want to put that disclaimer out there. So yeah, with all that being said, let us begin. Okay, so for Monday's outfit, these white shorts were the downfall of my career. 
I had such a hard time styling these shorts and honestly, I don't, I'm not proud of the work. I just feel like I look like an ultra dad and not in like a, not like in a cute way, just like in a really, really ugly way. But how I styled them was I took this oversized shirt from Urban Outfitters. It has three patterns and then I paired them with some white sneakers. Please feel free to roast me in the comments. We can roast each other. The shoes are these Nike Air Maxes. I honestly don't know and I can't seem to find them online. Like literally I've searched before to like be able to link them for you guys and I cannot find them. So if anyone can find them, they're the Nike, I think they're like a form of the Air Max shoes. I'm honestly not sure, but they're Nike shoes. And I think out of 10, I'd rate this outfit probably a three. So these white shorts were $9.97 and they were the Calvin Klein denim short. I feel like I could see some people styling these white shorts with like a tank top or some type of like really summery top and maybe like making it work that way. I think that's honestly not a bad price. If you are looking for white shorts, then, then Costco is definitely the place to find them. For Tuesday, the item that I styled from Costco was this sweater that I'm wearing. My first thought that comes to my head when I see this sweater is a substitute teacher. My aunt Barbara, shout out to you Barbara if you're watching this, but she would wear sweaters like this and it's not that it's necessarily ugly or anything. I just, I it just reminds me of substitute teachers in general and I tried to pick up a mixture of items that I wouldn't normally wear and items that I did actually like and this was one of the items I don't think I would normally wear. This sweater was $14.99 so it was under 15 bucks which is honestly a really good price for a good sweater. Looking back on how I styled it, I feel like I look like a horse girl that's about to go play polo or something. I wore these jeans from Hollister that are literally skin tight. I never wear jeans like this, but the reason why I did is because when I tried pairing these with mom jeans, it just, it was not a look. And then I paired the skinny jeans with some black Doc Martens. And in general, I don't think this outfit was completely horrible, but I just don't think it was that good either. It was just like a solid in between. And out of 10, I think I would give it like a six. Oh, that's a little high though. A five and a half sounds good. And that's it. So in the past, I've seen that Costco has sold Fila items before, which I think is super cool because Fila is like a name brand item that's literally sold at Urban Outfitters. So I've always thought that was neat and it's also pretty affordable. So while I was at Costco, I saw this matching set. So I bought them separately, but like I paired them together as a set. So for Wednesday, that is what I wore. So the jogger pants were $13.99. So those were 14 bucks. And then the actual sweatshirt was $15.99. So that amounts to, hold on, let me do the math in my head. 10 plus 10, that's 20. That is 33. Three, I think. <laughs> I think I got that wrong. So the total for the sweatsuit was a about $30. That is literally like an unbelievable price for a Fila sweatsuit. It was 98 degrees when I was outside while wearing this. So I was sweating a lot, but I think definitely for the fall time, this would be super comfy. And then I paired the sweatsuit with a pair of white Nike Air Force Ones. Overall, I thought this was a really fun look and I would definitely purchase this. Okay, so for Thursday, the highlight of my outfit is these Costco shoes. They are Fila men's hiking shoes. Costco actually had a, like a decent shoe selection. They had these like Puma shoes that kind of looked like the Adidas, like superstars. Anyway, but I once again wanted to get something that was out of my comfort zone and these shoes definitely were. I think we're all thinking the same thing. These shoes are ugly. I know. What I did to style them was a pair of mom jeans from Brandy Melville and then this tan shirt from Brandy Melville as well. I did the tan and then I paired the belt, which is also from Brandy Melville as an army green. And I think in general, the vibe I was going for was like, oh, I'm a, I'm a Girl Scout. I'm about to go hike really tall mountain in my butt ugly shoes. These shoes though were very comfy. I cannot lie. These were like walking on clouds, but it's the cost is sacrificing your style. So it's like one or the other comfort or cuteness so I did go to the mall in these and I just felt like I was being looked at <laughs> and if I actually was going hiking I would consider buying these but for school I don't want to get beat up so I didn't <laughs> just kidding just kidding final rating from me is four out of ten and then Nathan, hey, Nathan what do you think of my outfit Last but certainly not least is Friday. And for Friday, the highlight of this outfit was my cardigan. It is this like kind of fuchsia purpley color and it was just a button up cardigan. It was super soft and it was really comfy. And I think this was, this cardigan was $14.99. So it was like 15 bucks. Honestly, when I first saw it, I thought, of Brandy Melville. I, Brandy Melville has been going through this like cardigan stage where they're super cropped and they're so expensive. And so what was nice about this is that it was longer. So it was easier to tuck into my shirt and they had lots of color options as well. And how I paired it was with this white sweater looking thing. And then I tucked the cardigan into some mom jeans that I thrifted. And then I paired it with a cheetah belt from Brandy Melville. And then for shoes, 
I also wore my Nike Air Forces again. And I did shoot this video when it was 98 degrees, but like fall time, this is gonna be a perfect outfit to wear. For 15 bucks, I think this is definitely something that I would purchase again and would recommend. And that concludes my styling Costco clothes for a week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had lots of fun filming it. And overall, Costco has some great quality clothes and you can find some really cute stuff there for good prices. I would recommend it. And so with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. Go hit up your local Costco for back to school shopping and I will see you guys later. Bye.